recall your early days in Pusing, Malaysia, of Ipo? Earlier, you were saying Pusing actually means a headache. <laughs> in Malay, kapala Pusing, big headache. Your life seems more like a fairy tale, a man who created, who transformed a mining wasteland into a wonderland. Sunway resorts, the Sunway hospitals, you've got the schools, learning institutions, and so forth. Why, why has it been a headache? Well, you didn't know that I went through great headache to be there, to be here now. <laughs> when I first started, I, w I was working as an accountant. When the British withdraw from Malaysia, I uh, have some good friend in the company, and he told me that, Jeffrey, you should look at this piece of land if it's very good. Although it's mined out by the British through the dredging method, but there are still a lot of reserve uh, after 80 feet of, of, uh, of uh, the depth. You know, so I say okay, but uh, finally we negotiated a very cheap price for three hundred thousand payable within three years. I took the bet that uh, they will renew for me. And Did you know forty-two years ago when you put your initial investment was about a hundred thousand ringgit? Did you know that it would turn into this a sprawling conglomerate with presence in fifty different well, countries, fourteen thousand staff? I do, I do have a lot of dreams, but uh, of course you need a lot of good people, a lot of the good team. Uh, you know, leadership is one very important ingredient. Like what you did in Singapore is fantastic. You know, I always very inspired by the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. The late Lee Kuan Yew uh, said that you were a visionary. He and the late Mrs. Uh, Lee Kuan Yew came and visited us. I went through two very bad financial crises, 85, 86, 97, 98. And 99, uh, GIC uh, came in and they invested in us. They saw value. I told Tun Mahadeo, who when he resigned, he asked me, why did you go to the Singaporean? Why did you sell the Singaporean? I said, sir, let me tell you this. I went to all the funds in Malaysia. You tell me which one I did not go, but they don't even look at me. I went through the 85, 86, okay? After that, I went to the bank. The bank were very supportive. I was very, I, I'm very grateful to them because I put all my books very transparent. I gave a business plan. I said, look, Richard, you know, if you support me with another five million, I promise you 1988, I will give you a 10 million profit. The next year I make about 15 million. It was very good. And from then on, it was up to 1997. Euphoria everywhere. And when the financial crisis came in 1997, you, you, you don't believe me. I owe the bank $2 billion without any security. Is that no in ringgit or no which currency? To, which currency? Let's ringgit. get this straight. Of course, ringgit. ringgit. <laughs> I'm talking in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> that was 1997, 98. That's why many people call you the early pioneer of sustainability. But it's really tough. You've got cash flow problems. You're always looking at PNL. And yet, how do you go about in continuing to innovate while you're trying to do business with heart, your favorite motto. Well, I think, uh, you know, today we have to have something different because right from the start, when I went to the government after mining, when 1986, the tin price collapsed, we have to shut down the tin mine. And, I, and then I, I went to the government, I said, I want to uh, build a township in this piece of land. Well, after the two financial crises, I know the gearing must be kept to a level where it's manageable. How much 97. was your gearing, if I may ask? Now my gearing is about 30%. Last time was about 300%. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, that is the problem with the entrepreneurship. You, you lose your head. How did an entrepreneur who went from being an accountant to this visionary property developer, tin mining, uh, with gearing of 300%, all of a sudden switch gears and go into doing business with the heart. I've seen what poverty is like. By uh, going into education, giving back to society to edu through education, educated the mind, uh, giving them the best in education, quality education, it will change, it will change their lives, giving them much bigger opportunities. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our winners. 